All right, first of all, Tiago, thanks so much for joining us here on Astro Supersport. I hope you're doing really well. Um, I actually want to start by talking about your dad because I heard he was here last week to watch you. Was it his first time? Yeah, when I started football, was my the main question was always about him. So <laughs> I'm used to it. So nice uh, uh, was a a great ball because it was his first time at Anfield as well as a myself as a Liverpool player. So it was very special for me, for sure. What was it like knowing he was there the, the whole time? And what was it like growing up with a father like him in your family? Yeah, well, I get used to it. It's not the first time that he watches me playing, so uh, I am just uh, have a special person there. It doesn't change how I am in the game, how motivated I am in the game, but just knowing that after the game I, ha I will have this person that I can talk and, uh, about football with him, so mm. it's nice. So is it always football then? Have you ever, you know, have mostly, your, has your mostly, mom, mostly. mom pushed you to volleyball? No, nobody, nobody pushed me to, to do football or any kind of different sport. They pushed yeah. me to have a healthy life, having the sport as a, as a thing that I can rely to get out from the street. So it was, uh, was a really great chi childhood with them and not just about this, but also about other values that they can share with me. But one of the passions for sure, my dad was football and I share that with him. And more than those kind of parents that they push the children, they are a bit even aggressive in some time. They always are, gave us the freedom to mm. choose to be ourselves while we were doing the sports. So you've never tried other sports? Yeah, for sure I tried, but because I liked sports. Okay. Try different sports for sure, but, and keep doing them, but uh, at the end, football was the, the one that I loved at, at most. It was your calling, yeah. But um, has, it, has it always been a plan to play in the Premier League? Was that always the goal? No, no, it's not, uh, it's not my first goal. The first goal is to uh, enjoy the playing football where I was. It was not the plan to play in Spain, England or whatever, any country. But it was to play football. And at the end, when you grow up and to know about how strong are the leagues, how strong are the teams, you, you want to, to find out new challenges and Premier League was one of them. So how difficult is that challenge and what challenges does the Premier League pose to you in comparison to, like you said, you grew up playing in Brazil, you played in Spain, you played mm -hmm. in Germany. Premier League, how is it different? Well, there is a, a common goal with uh, other leagues and other teams that is to win everything, mm -hmm. to achieve all trophies as we can in a big club like this. Um, different things about the uh, experience and the, the knowledge that I can have with this uh, new league, different styles of playing, more physically, more dynamic and, mm. and just uh, looking forward to keep playing here. So last season was quite a difficult season, not mm. just for you, but for Liverpool in general as yeah. well. But how do you think you're fed in Liverpool so far? Yes, I think last season was not a Premier League uh, typical season for sure. It was not a typical football season. But I think you adapt. You play football without crowd when you were 12, 13, 14. Mm. So we get used to play like that. We played before like that. But now in a professional way and playing for Liverpool, you, you hope to hear the crowd as well. And mostly in that Anfield, the people is unbelievable there, the ambiences so um, overwhelmed where you play, so mm. why not to have them again? And for sure this year is much better than the last one. Yeah, and do you feel like you're getting back to your best at the moment? Yeah, you involve. It's not about to getting back when you were uh, at your best moments to even be better than you were before. Mm. So it's about transforming yourself, uh, be adapted with the team, with your own quality. So I'm here for that. So, how would you define your current role in midfield then, in this Liverpool side and the club? Well, we have a clear, let's mm. say, way of play that is to be aggressive in mm. all, all the phases of the game, defending, attacking, and I love that because at the end you are dominant in, in every moment of the game. Sometimes you have to have a balance between get wild and, and having control and and I have this point of more of control and getting wide, so I think it's more that. But it does seem like whenever you're with Fabinho in, in that yeah. midfield, it seems to bring the best out of you. How is he so important to your own game? Well, he's a world-class player that he gives us his confidence to, to 
that we can do whatever, not whatever we want, but our best to try different things because we know if we fail doing that, we'll have a guy that we can rely our game on it and he will defend, he will be there for you and also uh, he's a magnificent player with the ball. Is he someone you'd say you have the best understanding with in this team? Well, I have lots of uh, great teammates in this team that uh, we understand each other, but I think all great players, they understand pretty well between them. Yeah. Who, who are you closest to then? Like well, I'm close to him, to Costas, uh, to Adrian, because of, at the end there are people with the uh, same culture as me, Spanish, Latin one, and, but I think all the, the guys at this, at this team, they are great. I, I did hear you speak multiple languages. Mm -hmm. um, so in, in the dressing room, what do you normally speak? Do you really mix your sentences? Yeah, it depends. It depends uh, with who I'm talking with. Uh, English, uh, Spanish and Portuguese are the main one. I don't know if there's somebody else that can talk German sometimes <laughs> with uh, some, somebody, some people from the staff. But yeah, mainly those three. Have you picked up any Scouser words? Yeah, answers? for sure. Which for one? Sure which one? Them. Pff, the scram or <laughs> boss something, some kind of words that I don't use in a, in a daily basis uh, talk, but I know them because of different acts that we had. <laughs> No. But it's, it's always interesting, different languages, different accents, as you travel around playing mm -hmm. football, you pick up so many things. But in that midfield, I would say maybe it's where, in terms of the squad bodies, you have a lot of midfield players. So it must be quite competitive, isn't it? Yeah, but that's why you are in a team like that, uh, because at the end it's not just the team is big, because you have this competitive uh, uh, roles, not just in the midfield, but in the back and, uh, and forward. So. I think it's that. The healthy team has healthy comp uh, competition between mm. players. And if you want to achieve what you want to achieve at the end of the season, we have to have all the players uh, available for the team. So let's talk about your goals then. For some reason, you only score worldy, brilliant goals, like poetry in motion kind of goals. I'm thinking about the one against Porto, I think it was, mm -hmm. and then a similar one against Southampton. What was going to your mind in that, those moments? Well, at the end, Sometimes you prefer to score more goals and those score that beauty goals, <laughs> but uh, for sure there are uh, moments in your game that you, you want to do them with kind of beauty and if the goals follow the, your type of game, so mm. it's great. But at the end, a goal is a goal. It doesn't matter if yeah. it's a long distance, short distance, with the belly or with the, or with the feet, so you just want to score. Well, just one final one for me then. We, we spoke about your father, your, how inspirational your mm -hmm. family is. Someone else who was an inspiration for you when you were younger in Barcelona is Xavi, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, going back to Barcelona, a club that means a lot to him and to you. I mean, what did you make of his return to Barcelona? Well, when he was a football player, you know already that uh, his future will, will be merely to be a coach because of how he commanded the team during the, a game. So, mm -hmm. it was like to say that guy will be a coach. But at the end, and he had an amazing career there at uh, al Sadd in, in Qatar. Hope he has a good one here as well in Barcelona. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Thiago. Okay. Of course, all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you.